truth and thank you for being here today and being the audience. I already introduced you to myself, so let me just take you straight through the secrets of the high performing PA. Now we might be wondering what is the secrets to high performing PA? Before we actually go through that, let me take you, let me introduce you to Rosie. Rosalie Mashali is basically a uh, woman who is a school teacher and she moved to Kailiche in the Western Cape. She saw young children going through the rubbish dump while she um, was going to work. And their parents were at work and she looked at this and it disturbed her and she thought to herself, what can she do about the situation? Rosalie decided to take these children into a home and basically look after them and provide them with a meal while their parents were away. Rosalie saw a need and she did something about the situation. Rosalie has now today grown this crash to 230 children. She has founded Bapumela and Educare. She has a children's home and it has now expanded where she runs a wood workshop. Rosalie also has a kitchen and a counselling service. Rosalie won the 2011 Women's Association Award for Social Entrepreneurship. We might be thinking, what has Rosie, Rosalie's scenario got to do with being a PA? Let's take you through that. Rosalie took ownership. She did something about the situation. Not only did she take ownership, but she took it one step at a time. Rosalie enlisted the support of others. Now we do know we need the support of others to accomplish anything because none of us is an island. Rosalie stuck to it and she made it work. What can Rosie teach us about becoming a high performing PA? Step number one, Let's take ownership. Let's take ownership of our inbox, our diary, our telephone, our paperwork. And that, might, that is not the only thing we take ownership of, but this is just briefly highlighting the foundation of the things that we can take ownership of. Queries and customer service are also one of the many things that we can look at is how we as PAs can take ownership of our environment. Do you think that it's easier for me to stand here and jump across the other side of the room? Or do you think it's easier for me to stand where I am and walk to the other side of the room? In the same way, a few small improvements every day will eventually add up to a big change in your career. These are three small changes you can make in your career today. Number one, get to know the business you are operating in. Get to know the IT environment, get to know the operations environment. Whatever your business is, get to know the business. Establish new mandates. Some of us might know what a mandate is, and some of you might not know what a mandate is. Let me just explain to you what a mandate is. A mandate can be a financial mandate. Now, your manager might have a mandate to sign up to a certain amount. Be it 12 million, 2 million, 16 million, that is a mandate. A mandate is also the job function that your manager fulfills. Your manager has a mandate of job function that he fulfills. The key point is that you want your boss to increase the mandate that he is going to give to you or that he's going to give to you. A mandate takes time and a mandate takes trust. So it's a process that you're going to have to work through and go through with your manager. And we'll explain to you later in the workshop, how you go about this process. Point number three, are you knowing the mandate, operating in your mandate, having earned the trust and getting to know your business, 
you start making a difference to the environment in which you're operating. What else did Rosalie do? Rosalie enlisted the support of others. And that's the same way that we do it as person assistants. We enlist the support of others. Now, I'm going to go through three steps in which we can do it. Remember, this is not all the steps, but these are just three steps that we're going to go through. Build a network of contacts. Now, your contact would be, for example, Rennie's Travel. Sometimes there is a SLA whereby you have three days or four days where you can get your Forex. Now, as you have a contact in Rennie's already, you're able to rely and depend on that contact to assist you in your moments of need. Number two, build a network of advisors. Who are your advisors? Your advisors can be line managers, supervisors, people that you can go to, people that have te your technical advisors, people that you can go to to advise you and assist you with queries, people you can advise and assist you with um, information that you might need in your inbox, people who are subject matter experts. Those are your advisors. Build a network amongst your peers. When you have a network amongst your peers, you might need to prepare a board pack. And you know you're able to enlist the support of your peer. Because you have a network and you're able to have a support system amongst each other. Most importantly, get your boss's support. Without your boss's support, there's no way you are able to succeed as a peer. Believe you were born to make a difference. As a PA, you're uniquely positioned in the organization to make a difference in the organization, the department, and the company. You enable your boss to be better, which enables the organization to function better. You were born to make a difference. You take your boss to the next level. As we go through these principles, remember to stick to it and make it work. Persevere. It is not always easy, but when we persevere and we stick to something, we realize that the outcome was worthwhile. As we can see with Rosalie, we are all unique and we're all born to make a difference. You don't have to be rich. You don't have to be famous. You don't have to be born into privilege. Simply start where you are and do what needs to be done. Let us discover more golden nuggets of how to become a high-performing PA. You've had a taste of this greatness. Join us for the three-day PA Revolution training course and become the PA you were meant to be. So come on, make your unique contribution today.